What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to stack mods in American Truck Simulator and how to set their priorities. For those of you that don't know, there is a certain order that you need to put all of your mods in American Truck Simulator. Otherwise it'll actually load wrong, it may not load at all, may crash your game, or you may have texture issues or just complete performance issues, or as well as mods might not work right. So as you guys can see right here in this clip, I do have some pink and purple texture issues, which is very common with mods not stacked properly or in the wrong priorities to begin with. So definitely, this is if you see this, this is a good sign that you need to adjust your mod stacking and mod priority. So you figured out how to download mods, whether it's via Steam or another website. You thought by just simply clicking here, making them active, that that was just right, but there is a method to the madness that you need to do. So if your mod list looks just like this over here to the right, just kind of all out of order, out of whack, that is totally wrong and you're going to have major issues with it. So this will be a little bit of a tedious process, but I highly recommend you click this button right here, if yours looks like that, and remove all of those mods, make them all inactive. So, I'm going to try and put up on the screen something that was released by SCS Software System themselves of the mod order that you need to make them. Think of it like playing Tetris, if you will. So it needs to go maps, trucks, trailers, skins, AI mods and traffic, tuning parts, physics or handling mods, graphics and weather, sounds, and then backgrounds on top of that. So what I mean by that, we're gonna start with maps. Now I actually don't have any map mods right now, I'm just running all base game maps. So we're gonna go to trucks. So we're gonna scroll all the way up here, start at the very top. Now what that means is just specific trucks. So if it's something like this, that's an accessory pack, that is not what we're talking about right now. In this here, this would be an accessory pack or a trailer, but we're gonna go over that next. Tuning packs are not trucks. And skins are also not trucks. Now, for example, this Western Star, it is a box truck. You guys may have seen that video. If not, go check it out on my channel. But we're going to start with that one by making that active. And that's going to be the very bottom of the priority list. And now we're going to continue to go down, looking for all trucks. Again, not doing any kind of paint schemes, but we're going to move trucks over. So what I also recommend doing after you finish a block in your mods is starting your game and saving it, making sure it works right. For example, all my truck mods, so I would load the game, make sure it's working right. You'll know if you have some bad mods, as you guys can see the shadow underneath the truck, I have some texture issues. Perhaps one of my mods is not good or it's conflicting with the other. And it's better to do this in blocks. That way you don't have to go back through all of your mods and figure out which one is right. So think of these right here as blocks. You know, you have your maps as one block, your fixes is another block, your trucks is another block, and so on and so forth. So after you get done one block, load the game up and see if it's running right and everything seems to be functioning properly. All right, so after we got all our trucks down first, now we're gonna scroll all the way back up now we're gonna do trailers. So we're gonna go all the way up here and click trailers. And then after that, it will be skins and paint schemes. Now I am gonna click specific trailers first. And then after that, I'm also gonna do cargos after that. For example, the Pepe's cargo pack, which I absolutely love. We're gonna do that one next after I click all my custom trailers first. This one right here, this is a trailer pack. And you also need to pay attention over here. If there's a red spot that pops up, you know that one's actually a bad mod and that's a good one you can start with by getting rid of. So again, just moving all the trailers over. Now also note that in terms of trailers, whichever one has the higher priority is the one that's gonna take priority first. So in terms of like AI traffic, that's what you're going to see first going down the road, or you see the most of anyways. So now after you got your trailers in there, now you're going to go down skins. And then after you do all your skins, that is when I would personally do all of your cargo packs. So we're going to go down and pick all of our skins, just like this one right here, and put that one in next. And skins are your texture packs or your paint jobs. Alright, so after you have your skins, your trailers, and then your skins, I would then do any cargo packs that you may have. For example, additional cargo pack. I would start to do those next. And I would do them all in order. Sort of cargo and everything. Make sure they're all in the same line. So if you guys can kind of see what I meant by Tetris, you're going to have... Basically think of it as blocks. You're going to have your trucks in one block, your paint schemes in another block, your trailers in another block, then your cargo packs all in another block, if that makes sense. All right, so after you put your cargos, then the next will be like AI mods like traffic. Like if you have safer traffic mods or different driving mods, 
or even like crazy traffic mod or anything like that those would go in next and then after that it will be tuning parts so i do believe i only have one ai tr ai mod and we're going to scroll down to that it's right here we have the safer ai traffic mod we'll go ahead and move that one over next and then because that is the only ai mod now we're going to do tuning parts so that is not the engines per se most of these engines are straight pipe you can see right there where it says sound most engine mods are just sound packs with the exception of a few and i will show you what i mean so tuning parts here is accessories now do note that some of these accessory mods are no longer working. Not saying this one here specifically isn't, but some of them are no longer working. You'll just have to be aware of which ones aren't. But if it says tuning parts specifically in it like that, that's how you know that's the next one to go. For example, this one here is an engine pack. However, it's not just sound. It's a specific motor for a specific truck, the 350. So I am going to put that in with the tuning parts. Now, I'm not sure if that's 100% right, but that's what I'm going to do. And then you have things like this with the super engines and transmission. That is a tuning part. So definitely put that in with the tuning, not with the sound. Now, wheel packs are definitely a part of a tuning. And I'm also going to put farm accessories in with it as well. These are just little toys that you can have sitting around. I'm going to put that in with the tuning pack also. Again, wheel packs definitely need to go in with the tuning parts. Okay, so next is physics and then graphics and weather after that. Now, I personally don't have any physics mechanics or any physics mods into the game they do have some things like realistic physics as well as the realistic fifth wheel that's where this would go in i don't currently have any of those yet so the next one would be graphics and mechanics now i am going to put things like realistic mirror fov or field of view i'm going to put that in with the graphics as well as the real company's gas stations that i use i'm going to put those in with the graphics as well just because i feel like that's the perfect spot for them as it does change the graphics up all right, so after you have your graphics, now the very next thing is sounds. And as you guys know, I have a lot of sound packs. We're going to move these all over. Now, do note when you're putting your sound packs in, for example, I have these amateur sound pack here, but I also have an air transmission sound. So for example, this does have an air transmission sound to it too, but it is different than this one. So whichever one of these I put over top here is going to take priority, and that's the sound you're going to hear. So I like the sound of this air transmission over this one, but this one also has lots of other different sounds that I like. So then after sounds, you're going to put backgrounds up there. Now, I personally don't have any backgrounds that I'm changing. So what I am going to put on top is mods that are really alter the game. Things like no damage, that's going to be the very top one I want. So we're going to move that one over there just like that. But then I also have used truck dealer re rework. And it says 150 plus. So I'm going to move that one over. But I'm going to move it down below no damage. That's just personally how I like it. I don't always play with damage on my trucks. And these I consider game alter. So like if you were going to do like a money XP cheat, I would put that down either second or third in priority. But anyways, after you've gone through your whole list and you've got them blocked off just like that, you should be somewhat organized over here. Look a lot better. As I said, it's blocked off. So game altering things, sound, then you have your tuning packs, so on and so forth, physics, everything else. So it should be very organized. And then after you see that, hit confirm changes. And as you can see, I have a lot of mods in my game. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys found it entertaining and helpful. I do make a lot of videos just like this one. If you enjoyed it, definitely go check out my channel. I do make a lot of them, and I've got a lot more coming. So please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.